Without further ado, I'd like to ask um, Chris Perez with Robert Bird Group to come on and share his screen and take us through Reveal. I'm really excited about this presentation. This is um, probably the most advanced 4D modeling tool used for construction direction sequences. And uh, Chris, did I have to twist your arm to do this? Did I hunt no, you down? Not at all, Phil. Uh, thank you very much um, for getting us on board here, Phil, and giving the opportunity to actually um, let everyone be aware of Reveal. Um, so just to get started here, guys, I'm just going to start uh, the presentation. Uh, a little bit about Reveal. It's a, a platform. Um, it's a virtual environment, which has now been in development for over a year. And we're finally allowed to express our um, current projects that we've been doing on Reveal and um, show the market. So this is going to be um, hopefully more to come and uh, we'll learn a little bit about Reveal. So Reveal is the platform that has been built in Unity. And I'm just going to briefly go to a Reveal platform, which is here. So what we're looking at here is a virtual environment actually in my hometown, Brisbane. Um, and this is a virtual environment that we've actually been approved to actually show this online and live in this presentation. I'm sorry that uh, I wasn't, I'm actually Chris Perez from the Dubai office. I'm the production manager here out in Dubai. And currently all of our projects here in the Middle East are under an NDA. So we are not allowed to actually share those reveal platforms, but this reveal platform that I'm showing you here today is very detailed. It's, it's extremely well developed. And then this has been done by our uh, Melbourne team. We actually have three reveal v, uh, virtual design and construction teams. We have a, a team in Melbourne. We have a team in, here in Dubai. And we also have a team in London. And this development has been going over for a year now. And I just really want to thank Dan Woodcock and Dan Samble and the rest of the development team on the hard work that they've been placing into Reveal to actually get it off the ground running. So what is Reveal? Um, so Reveal is a, it is a virtual environment. Basically, it's like a game, a gaming engine. Like you can zoom around, go to anywhere, and it's actually live free time rendering. And what we're going to do is go down to this building here. And we're going to see the actual building be built in front of us through free time rendering. And as you can see here through the stages of construction, there's a timeline bar on the bottom left here. At the moment, it just says phases, but normally on this bottom left-hand corner here, you'll have the dedicated date that has been allocated to the member that is actually being removed. So the red is for demolished. And then after the basement is demolished, we could actually zoom down here and we can actually see here the demolition occurring on the, on, the, on the foundations and a temporary road access platform that is coming in. All of this has been uh, coordinated and designed through engineers at Robert Berg Group and coordinated with contractors and subcontractors. Um, so that is a little bit about Reveal. So I'm gonna go through the timeline a little quick here and then I'm gonna go back into my presentation and then we'll come back to Reveal and, and show you more of the, the tools that are built in Reveal. As you can see, it's not just a viewer and a 4D sequencing program. Uh, there is actually a couple of other tools that I'd like to share. So I'll just go back to the presentation and talk to you a little bit more detail about Reveal and how we use it, the workflow. Okay, so one important thing that we like to say at Robert Berg Group and within the virtual design and construction team is that 4D is not to be used just at construction phase. You know, we wanna get starting to develop a 4D methodology with engineers, with the architect, with the contractor, at very start of the project, at concept. We wanna start at concept. A lot of the time, 4D does get introduced when it's about to go for construction which does occur quite regularly here in the Middle East. Here in the Middle East, uh, a lot of the clients are forcing the contractors to actually develop a 4D methodology erection sequence, either that be in Navisworks Synchro or a video um, or some snapshots in, in a drawing. 
um, and the contractor actually has to develop that uh, to be presented to the client and then the client would choose the contract to come on board. And that's what we also help the contractors with is coming up with that methodology to actually win the contract. So the best uh, value out of actually delivering a project is actually starting to actually develop your 4D construction methodology sequence with a construction engineering team and your virtual design and construction team and reveal from the very start all the way through to construction. So how do we produce uh, these models? How do we produce reveal? How's the platform developed? So here's a little bit about the workflow. So at the start of a project, you're always going to have uh, Revit models, civil 3D models, uh, AutoCAD files, Rhino files. We will collaborate that into a digital space. Then we're going to sequence the model and that be through Synchro, Navisworks, or even in phasing Revit or phasing in Revit, or we might sequence it in uh, 3ds Studio Max or Rhino, depending on the, the actual resource that is available and also what your requirements are at the end of the job. Then we're actually taking that information. If it's a Revit built construction methodology erection sequence, we're actually pressing that through Unity Reflect. And what this does is it actually holds all of the metadata from the Revit models through into, uh, through into Reveal. I actually didn't show you that before. I'll show you that just after we go through the workflow. So there are times built in the gaming engine and you know that like through design, not everything is actually modeled in the Revit model. For example, temporary works requirements, uh, logistical paths, um, trees, landscape. Uh, you can also, uh, surrounding buildings. So a lot of the time we actually create this, these uh, models in 3ds Studios Max or Rhino, depending on the resource. Um, and there are occasions where, you know, you can actually push that through Rhino 7 using uh, Rhino for Revit and then Rhino inside and then bringing that metadata through into Revit and then pressing it all through if you wanted to have and hold that metadata from your Revit models into Reveal. There are times when you actually need the metadata and there are times when you don't need the metadata. For like, if you're doing scaffolding, you don't really need to press the data of your scaffolding system through into Reveal. Um, then we have the development team, um, uh, which is our engineering and uh, technology department who has uh, created the code to actually build Reveal. And now one very important thing behind all of this, Reveal and 4D sequencing is done in two manners. A lot of the time it's done at concept with the engineers of Robert Berg Group who are staging the structural analysis. And with that structural analysis, we can have links to the actual Revit models and links to the provided models that we have. And then the full sequence of engineering analysis is taken through into Reveal. So Reveal is just not a pretty picture. It's also been analyzed. And there are times when we come on board just working with a contractor who's already come up with a methodology. Okay, so who's, who, who uses these models? Um, to be honest, everyone's using these models. Reveal is actually built for not just a technician, not just uh, a, a virtual design and construction user. It's actually built for everyone to use the actual platform. It's actually just an XEX file. It's very simple to use and run. And there is actually no software requirements to actually install onto your computer. Uh, so it's just an XEX file that runs on your machine, no installation. And the keys are just like if you're playing a gaming engine, uh, like a, a game, it's uh, forward, back, left, right, and you use the mouse to zoom around. And you do do training sessions uh, with your virtual design and construction manager in the region. So who is using this? Uh, logistical uh, work stream planners. Uh, this is actually creating a, a collaboration of logistical movements throughout the construction design team is actually using the 4D mod model as well to gain a better understanding of the actual 4D sequence. Um, and this is actually, you know, reducing the risk on site and actually finding the, the actual errors within the methodology and uh, finding the solution earlier in the stage with using Reveal. The whole entire construction department is actually using Reveal on their projects. Here in the Middle East, we have projects running in uh, Abu Dhabi, on Reveal, uh, Zayed National Museum, uh, in, in 
in Oman, we have a project running through Breville at the moment. And also in Saudi Arabia, there is a, a, a few projects happening at the moment, uh, large developments. Uh, so also the, the stakeholders are actually being able to use Reveal as well. So Reveal is also not just for 40 sequencing, but that is the main goal. Um, but how is it used and how does it add value? So through the 4D collaborative process, we're actually developing this 4D model through the design phase. And the 4D model is actually getting generated at the same time as the BIM model. So some elements might be a little bit dummy at the start without the BIM data, and they're just created models in uh, Rhino or 3DS Studios Max but the model is slowly getting developed to a higher LOD. And then also we're linking the program with uh, Reveal. So then at the end of that process, you're going to have a 4D model. And then the, the 4D model is also going to be evaluated by the design engineers at Robert Burr Group for review. And then Reveal is also used through reporting. So a tool that I haven't actually shown you yet you can actually take snapshots and videos through Reveal. It's free time rendering. You know, only a year ago today, we were actually doing snapshots through, uh, you know, a, a render farm and rendering out every single stage, rendering a video, but no longer we have to do that anymore. Well, we still do that for particular projects, but Reveal can give you a feature where you can snapshot and actually show a snapshot of, of the sequence. And then we actually put that into design reports for our method statements. To the client and reveal is also used throughout um, design workshops uh, now before we go into questions i just want to show a little bit more of reveal so uh, i wanted to show the bim data that is held within reveal so if we select on a column or the sorry this is in the way uh, we can actually see all the BIM data that is pressed through. This is by using Unity Reflect. Um, and then as you can see, uh, you know, sometimes you actually don't need that BIM data. For example, the crane, you don't actually need to hold the BIM data, but sometimes you might want to know the crane type and then press that through. So we can move around into the scene. Um, a few other tools. So at the moment, I'm just in the freestyle uh, mode at the moment, but you can actually drop a man to a position on site, have a look around. Looks to be some nice gum trees here in Brisbane. And see the methodology. I know I'm prone to hyperbole, but I have to tell you, Chris, this is one yeah. of the most amazing things I've ever seen. You know, <laughs> and I'm, you, you I'm got to thank the development team. Uh, they've been working hard, and it, it was developed in a year, which is is it's quite crazy how quick and fast this was developed, uh, and and already regularly used on so many projects. I, I suspect that people watching this presentation will want to try and get access to this. Can you talk a bit about your go to market strategy for early adopters, beta testing? what your partnership strategy is, um, starting with London, which is the epicenter of our network, please. Yeah, so at the moment, um, currently Reveal in London is used on two or three projects which uh, developed with a client who has actually asked for a 4D construction methodology erection sequence. So they've won the project, they've been um, contacted, the client has actually contacted Robert Berg Group and asked to come up with a methodology and also another particular project, they've actually been provided the sequence and then they're going to create Reveal and then Reveal is gonna be used across the project. Um, more examples here in the Middle East, we're working very closely with contractors on tendering bids. So yeah. uh, trying to help the contractors um, win these projects because you actually need Reveal. You need uh, Reveal on these iconic structures in here in the Middle East, when they're so complicated, you need to understand your methodology of construction before you even get to site. There has to be a delivery plan or there's going to be risks. Um, so yeah, that was the point that you made in your 40 uh, group podcast that, that really hooked me, which is when I started to try and reach out to you. 
I hate to do this to you, but yep. you're you're pretty much out of time. Do you have any that final remarks or comments? Uh, no final remarks. Uh, I guess a few things is, uh, you know, future development. I just wanted to express that future development. You're actually going to be able to have a synchro model if it's actually being completed. You can press it through into Reveal and see your synchro model through Reveal. And you can also wow. do that with Navisworks as well, which has been developed. Synchro is nearly completed. Um, You're going to consume the mesh, the timeline, and the transformation to the geometry all under Reveal? Into reveal, you will be able to visualize the methodology from Synchro, and then you'll have your timestamps from Synchro. Uh, 